15 things to discover in Tulum from things to do, places to stay, and places to eat and drink coming up. And if you're new here, hola, I'm Christine with Where in the World to See All the Make Travel videos every week to help you get up, count, and go travel. So if you like to travel, consider subscribing. I was back in Tulum in August 2021, yes, with all of the seaweed, but I found so many new things that I discovered. And so I'm actually really excited to share with you in this week's video, some of those things to inspire you for your own trip. I love Tulum, so let's dive in. Welcome to Tulum Beach this morning. I am going around on my little beep beep moped and getting some Instagram worthy shots. I know you know that statue. <laughs> Wanna take a picture here with nobody here? Well, then you're gonna have to come not on a weekend and at the butt crack of dawn. So there you go, that's where you get the shot. It's a friendly reminder of what it's like to hit the Instagram spots in Tulum. It's kind of like that. So no, I was not on any kind of formal Instagram tour. I was just taking myself out to get all of the photos that everybody sees on Instagram and take them for myself. And tip for you, I was surprised. This was actually way easier than I anticipated because so many of these spots are right next to each other all along Tulum Beach. So I have a full video on this if you want to check that out, link in the description below with tons of helpful tips. But it was really fun to go and capture all of the photos. I just parked my sweet ride and I think you know where I'm at. That follow the dream sign, which can be found at Lolita Lolita. I always knew this spot as the sign and the beautiful clothing in the store, but now I also know it as an amazing place to get your nails did amongst other spa services. So make sure you check out the website, link in the description below, you know it's all in there for you. But here's something you might not know, is that you can meet Lolita at the store. She's awesome, she's a total badass, and you can drink mezcal with her. And she also has this really amazing and beautiful dog. <laughs> I don't know if this is a good sign or a bad. Is that a good sign? Tell me in the comments below. Good sign or bad sign? You didn't fart on me. Okay. Okay. I don't. <laughs> These are Tulum vibes for real. If you really want to get your Tulum on, and you want to look the part, this is the spot. You gotta pay to play. I wonder if they have anything dry fit in here. I bet you have a headache. I do. Oh, I should not do this one-handed. Doing this for you guys. Eyes focused on the road. That was shot with a GoPro. In other words, this footage is insanely stabilized and you don't really get the feel for how really bumpy the Tulum Road is. And so I know a lot of you guys are gonna ask me about my scooter and so, Exploring Tulum by scooter was a new thing for me. I'm so used to renting a bicycle, but I tried something different with the scooter. I'll just provide these tips for you because I had a bad experience. One, make sure you try to find the most legit company. And even if you do, you might just happen to come across some corrupt things. The second thing is yes, opt in for the insurance. That's just my recommendation for you. Third, I would say don't ride at night. There's a lot of drunk drivers on the road. And I would also say if you're riding with someone on the back just be really careful because the road is so bumpy it's really easy to take a spill luckily i was in the safe for the most part for this trip no accidents or anything yes i had a bad experience with the company that i rented from but it's nice to go a drink. I really enjoy the drinks at Hotelito Azul rooftop right on the beach. It was really beautiful up there. This is a newer property and you can go up there and have drinks. They are generally around $17 or so for a glass of wine or a cocktail. So a little bit more on the pricier side, but this newer hotel is also a pricier hotel. My friends were staying there. Their rate was $600 a night. I just looked right now also $600 a night, but I stayed next door and here's the next thing to discover, which is Coco Tulum. I have a full video link in the description below, but I would say one highlight is that this location is really great if you're trying to hang out on Tulum Beach, in particular, South Tulum Beach. I would say the low light of it is, I was pretty underwhelmed by my $300 per night room that had also crabs and cockroaches inside of it. So, you know, I keep it honest. 
But if you're looking for somewhere to stay, there's so many new places opening up, especially because the newer road that leads from town to beach is open. And so that opens up a whole new world of opportunity for places to stay as well. And let's head to a beach club that I didn't know existed. Okay, all right. Inside, I want to know what's inside. Let's go find out. We are inside the bunny. I'm scared. Let's turn around. Just kidding. Add it up. Ooh, something's about to happen. Get excited. is a really fun and awesome looking beach club worth checking out because why not don't we all need more drinks in our life and you may or may not see that amazingly cute weenie dog but i do want to share a place that i did enjoy staying at i've got a full video link in the description below staying at the aloft hotel which just recently opened in 2021 and this is one of the reasons why i really enjoyed staying there i just need to interrupt this video really quick to say if you have been out in tulum in the jungle adventuring hard it's so nice to have a hotel to come back to I even turn on the air conditioning you can relax you can have a minute before we we're resting for a second but we are about to go head out on our scooter and hit tulum beach hard for more adventures that are sweaty and bug bitten, but it is so nice to come here and just have that moment. Okay, which by the way, if you're having some fun with me in this video, cheers that like button, consider subscribing. Tell me in the comments when you are heading to Tulum. I'd love to know and let's get back. On this trip, I headed back to Azulik on Tulum Beach because it's so freaking pretty. But one of the things to know that's new since the last time I was there in December, 2020, is that now they charge for the museum. It's $10 to get in, which is totally reasonable. But in this video, I'm trying very, very hard to share with you just the new things that I discovered and things that you haven't seen in my other videos. Because there's a lot of them. Link in the description below to that. But there is something new I discovered at Azuli. <laughs> which is going upstairs and having drinks. And there's a few helpful tips here. One is at the time in which I visited, again, we're talking about August, 2021, you line up at 5 p.m. to be able to go in because they're limiting the number of people that are allowed to go up there and you can't do reservations. Obviously, if you're doing dinner, yeah, you can make reservations and you're all set on that front. But if you're just coming for drinks like I did, then you just line up at 5 p.m. And I did have to go back twice because the first time that I went, I went at 6 p.m. and by then they had already filled up. The price to get in is 600 pesos or around $30. And it does come with one drink, which I was surprised. That's actually really great value. But each drink was around 380 pesos or around $17. One of the cool things about coming up here is the big nets that you always see on Instagram. And I would say walking on it, not only is it awkward, but if you're like me and you're afraid of heights, oh, don't drop your phone. Don't drop your phone down there. Do you see how sweaty I am? Casa Jaguar is some for real Tulum vibes. You are dining out in the jungle and it's just a beautiful setting. I really enjoyed this dinner here and I'm gonna be totally honest in that I thought that this dinner was gonna cost me an arm and a leg. For all the food that you saw here and that whole fish is the dish that they're known for, which was very, very delicious. All the food was fantastic, but sharing all of these dishes plus having a couple glasses of wine only cost me $50 all in per person that is, which is significantly less than I thought. There are a lot of other restaurants on the beach that are equally amazing and significantly more expensive, but I was really happy with this experience. But let's get off of Tulum Beach because there's a lot of seaweed anyway, which if you want more info about the seaweed, I have a full video about that. A lot of people ask me, would you still recommend Tulum anyway? And absolutely yes, Tulum for me is not just about the beach. That's just a small sliver of what Tulum is to me. There's so many other adventures to be had, like this next one. I discovered the cenote that's in South Tulum Beach. I was 
recently told there's a cenote at the end of the beach road. I always think of the closest cenotes here being like Calavera, Grand Cenote, and then going over like Dos Ojos and stuff. But there's a cenote here and I love kayaking. restaurant is an awesome place to spend the day at and obviously the museum oh it's so pretty no no my friends we are not heading back to azu lake on tulum beach we are heading to their location in the jungle which if you're looking for less of a crowd and yet another beautiful stunning jungle space this is your spot to go to in case you're curious how far out of tulum this is uh let, let's talk about let's talk about this beach just take a look at that this nice paved highway and yes, it is a trek to get out there. One helpful thing, they don't actually have a wine list. They have a really awesome selection of wine bottles. <laughs> uh, a couple things by the glass at 350 pesos a pop, which is not bad for this beautiful, beautiful space. I'm so excited to have a drink and enjoy this. Both this Azul Lake and the other location I did live streams from, link in the description below if you want to check those out. <laughs> to explore a new cenote that was so beautiful. I was at Casa Tortugas, which is home to three different cenotes. And the cenote I was at was Cenote Tres Zapotes. And not only did I get to explore it, but I got to explore it as a mermaid. <laughs> it was so much fun to have an afternoon of mermaiding with Carmen, the Tulum mermaid. Link in the description below if you want to see the full video of me learning to mermaid and how you can make the experience yours as well. But it was a really fun new experience that I definitely recommend. You need to know how to swim to be able to do this. La Malinche. Oh my gosh, I love this place. Oh, I ate so many tacos. You know it's good if you order tacos right after you order tacos. Yeah. I'm so full. I'm so glad I have a scooter and not a bike. But I don't know if you saw what happened back there. I tried to pay with card because they do accept card, but today their Wi-Fi is down. That is a totally typical thing in Tulum and it's totally fine, but it means that they can't run my credit card without walking way down the beach road and seeing if they can get connection and Wi-Fi. So I just paid cash instead. This is not an abnormal thing. It is a normal thing in Tulum and that's why I always carry cash in addition to my cards. They did take US dollars. You get a significantly worse exchange rate, but it doesn't matter because you have the option if you want it. I always vote paying in pesos. Be smart. Let's head about 25 minutes outside of Tulum town and head to a new cenote, which is Cenote Nikdeha, which I got to go scuba diving there with one of my favorite divers, Mario. Link in the description below so you can find him and dive with him when you're in Tulum. So pretty in here. Don't forget it's a jungle, it's hot in here too. A lot of mosquitoes. Got a new freshie right here, look. That's the new one for the collection. But whether you're just coming here to dive or to just enjoy it, it's a really unique cenote because of the flowers and because of the cool story behind it. But it was a really beautiful new cenote to discover. Yeah. Oh yeah, that is muy grande, thank you. Yeah. After snow diving, I went and explored a new restaurant that I hadn't been to before, which is on that main drag in Tulum Town where all the bars and restaurants are located, or at least a lot of them. But I had some really delicious ceviche and I would totally go back. Yeah. Somewhere now. Yeah, look at that. All that stuff in my face. <laughs> Can you see why I love Tulum? Tell me in the comments below which adventure you might go check out. And ooh, right after Tulum, I went to Bonaire in the Caribbean. And wow, the mosquitoes in Bonaire, they're worse than Tulum, if that's even possible. <laughs> I hope you had fun with me in this adventure. I'm Chrissy, I'm here every week with new videos, and I'll see ya in the next one.